Hey everybody, this is Greg Ryder, and welcome to the live hangout. I want to say thank you. Um, we've got a pretty small group today, uh, so hopefully uh, you're going to enjoy this. So here's what's going on. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds to a minute for everyone to kind of get tuned in, and then we're going to kind of get going here. Uh, my name is Greg Ryder, and I'm the CEO of Angel Investors Network, and we've recently partnered did a joint venture with PureTap. Chris Dennert and Colby Fox from... Uh, uh, Orlando, Florida area. Pretty excited about what's going on. And again, what we did was we invited uh, members of PeerTap, and I also invited some of our Facebook Lead Finder customers. And as well as I know some people shared this on Facebook and shared on the internet. So welcome. Uh, I do want to do a poll while we're waiting, real quick. So while we're just giving everyone a few minutes to get here. I'm going to go ahead and launch a poll. And basically, the poll says, How many of you? actually own FB Lead Finder and uh, right now and so yes no or not yet so go ahead and answer that poll while we're waiting a few minutes to get people uh, on here and give people a few minutes to get going like I said I don't expect thousands of people on this call we invited a very small group of people and the idea was to provide some private training uh, some uh, no pitch fest nothing like that just some private training on the, the tool FB Lead Finder and how we've been using it for years and with that being said, you know, with our partnership with Chris and PeerTap and those guys, they take Facebook and marketing to a whole other level when it comes to social media and fan pages. So I don't even want to think that we compared what they're doing, but this tool combined with various different strategies can really, really be successful. We'll show you some of that kind of stuff uh, and how you can use it. So let me go and see go so go ahead on the right hand side answer that poll real quick we'll see how many people answer that poll as well as um, there should be a chat let me know that you can hear me okay say yes I can hear you loud and clear everything's coming through good uh, kind of get some of that stuff out of the way uh, from internally my partner says everything's sounding great and everything's going good so hopefully you're not having any problems either so go ahead answer that poll real quick and uh, Let's see. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys ten seconds to answer the poll and then I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll and see what it says and then we're gonna get started. So this is cool. Now I'm in Southern California and it's absolutely beautiful out today. I have to get up real early this morning and I was outside throwing the ball for the dog. Beautiful day in Southern California, so I hope where you're at it's beautiful as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this poll. And cool. So uh I'm going to go ahead and make these results. I don't know if you guys get to see those results or not. I'm using some new technology, playing with some of the stuff, and not sure exactly how to use it. Uh, but 88% actually have the tool, 12% say not yet, and 0% say no. So that's awesome. So you guys are going to get some good training on this tool and what's going on. And I can see Gary said, I can hear you. Tamara says yes. Daniel says good. Larry says great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So let me get going. So again, my name is Greg Ryder, and I'm the CEO of Angel Investors Network. And we like to help entrepreneurs, and from time to time, my son has developed software tools. He's the software genius, the internet marketing genius. And so we use these tools with the entrepreneurs and the companies we've invested in, and we've made products out of them. And so this tool is provided in the members area for all PeerTap members. So you'll get in there, and in there, there's clear instructions on how to get access to this tool. Uh, now, the other thing I do want to do is for you guys showing up today, I recently finished my first book, Saving America One Crowd at a Time, and I need somebody to remind me at the end of this, uh, I will give you guys a link of where you can get a free copy, an ebook version, a free copy of this, and then I'm actually going to put together something in the next couple days where you can get a free copy just for shipping the book if you want one of my pre ones. It's called Saving America One Crowd at a Time. It's about raising money for your company, it's about early stage seed capital, it's about crowdfunding. And it's a nice little read. So that's going to be your free gift at the end of this for listening in, in addition to the great value you're going to get. Now, I, I did promise to you guys that I'll share with you some incredible strategies and some tactics that you can use with our tool that can make you money. And I'm going to show you how we've bagged some big elephants doing this and what we've done. And it's very, very unique. I've never seen anybody else teach these strategies online and it's a good combination. Now again, like I said in the video to the registration, this is not UID scraping, although we've done that and I've, I understand that. This is not uh, 
you know, spamming and automatic posting. Uh, no, this is a different strategy and a different tool, and I'll go over that as we get going. So with that being said, uh, my goal is I'm going to give you these strategies, and you're going to walk away with some great information. And to be honest with you, you could actually use this information with or without these tools. So I like to teach. Secondly, I decided if I was going to do this for such a small, intimate crowd, I'm going to let you guys ask questions at the end. So get your questions. We can type them in the chat box, and I'll answer those live at the end. I don't plan on spending a lot of time doing this because it's very, very simple what I'm going to be sharing and teaching. Uh, so I'll ask your questions at the end. And then, and then the other thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of pr I'm, I'm going to do this in such a way that I can leverage my time, which again, lesson number one for the entrepreneur, focus and leverage, right? So I'm spending my valuable time, and I want to say thank you for your time because I know it's valuable and I appreciate that, right? Um, and I'm going to break this up in little pieces, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to and you'll see as I do this what I'm doing, and then what I'll do is I'll take this video, we'll put it in the members area, so if you miss it or you want to watch it again, you can. It'll be in the members area for PeerTap. But I'm going to break it up in little pieces, and I'll use each little section as a lead magnet to draw people into the FB Lead Finder family and the tool, as well as introduce them to PeerTap. So it's a very, very cool strategy that I'm going to take one video. I'll probably break it up into seven or eight videos. I'll leverage those with this tool, by the way, to drive traffic into the funnel and get exposure for FB Lead Finder and PeerTap. So I made a couple cards. So here's what we're going to kind of go over. I'm going to talk to you about how our tool can be used for engagement marketing. Engagement marketing. I'm going to actually also go over how we can use our tool for building your brand and driving traffic to your website or to your fan pages. I'm also going to talk about uh, how I people have used our tool for finding real estate investors and real estate investment clubs and the benefit of that. I then I'm going to go through, and I've had a number of network marketers uh, buy and invest in our Facebook Lead Finder software, and I've got a great strategy for network marketers. Anybody in network marketing can use this tool for that. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've done with Teespring. Now, I will say, uh, since we partnered with Chris, and I see some of the numbers that Chris and his team are doing with Teespring, my numbers are insignificant, but I did do a campaign as a proof case study using our tool, and only our tool, to make money on Teespring and do Teespring t-shirts. So we'll, we'll go over that. I then I'm going to go over how you could use this tool uh, for crowdfunding. So if you were doing a crowdfunding campaign, a couple ideas and strategies there. And we're going to talk about affiliate marketing. Uh, I've used this tool successfully for affiliate marketing and generate revenues and have that uh, cash register ring all day. Now, and let's see. Uh, I'm going to show you how we use it to get 77 guest bloggers for a website we launched. And then I'm going to also talk about how we can use this tool for marketing your book. And these are all things that I've done and we've done in our office and with our team. And I really kind of want to share you guys with how that works and what that looks like. Now I do want to say this too. Now keep in mind, if you're an internet marketer and you're making 50, 20, 100 grand a month, this information might not be relevant to you. You might already got this wire, but if you're new to, to internet marketing, you're new to social media, you're new to Facebook marketing, and you maybe you literally don't have the budget to start buying Facebook advertising and, and, and risking your capital that way, but you have time, that's what this is about. This isn't some get-rich-quick scheme. Don't believe in them. Don't believe in spamming, but this is some tools that can be used. In a, and I just gave you a, a bunch of ideas. It could be used even more than that. That's just a few of the things that we've done. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to dive into this and we're going to start with, we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to start with engagement marketing. Okay, so in an effort to leverage my time, this is how I'm going to do this. Hey, this is Greg Ryder and I want to show you how we use FB Lead Finder for engagement marketing. So let me go ahead and share my screen and I'll show you exactly what we're doing there. Let's see here. Share screen. So now you guys can see my screen. And this is our software. Now our software is web-based. And when you log into the members area, you'll have access to this. And I hover over settings, and you'll see that it says that I am logged out of Facebook. That means I'm logged into Facebook, which is what I want to do. And then I typically have a tab over here where I have Facebook open. And Engagement marketing, what does that mean? That means you want to get engaged on like-minded pages 
that could benefit your brand, could drive traffic to your website, do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to give you an example. We have a website called um, The Interview with God, and we have another website called Inspiration by God. And so we're always wanting to get our brand out there and get engagement with like-minded, faith-based Christians. So let's say if I type in Jesus. What this software is and what this software does, it's literally a fan page search engine. Okay, now you can use Facebook and use Facebook Graph to get these results, but you saw I just typed in Jesus and it pulled up 150 pages. And it pulls up the top pages with the most likes. So you can see here's Jesus Daily with 25 million likes, Bible 18 million likes, Jesus Adrian Romero 8 million likes, and then there's also a, col a column that says talking about. Now that's the engagement column, and we think that's pretty important. So I'm going to click on talking about. Now it's going to sort all these results by uh, how much engagement they have. Because again, if you're going to do engagement marketing, your goal is to get involved in the conversation on a page that already has lots of engagement. So you can see, I'm going to go over here to Jesus Daily. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Jesus Daily. And now that link's going to automatically take me to their fan page, right? So now what I want to do is I want to get involved in the conversation on this page. But I want to get involved as my brand, Inspiration by God. So I'm going to click on this little arrow and I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to log on now as uh, inspiration by God. So now when I did that, of course, it took me to that page, right? So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click on Jesus Daily. And now it's taking me to Jesus Daily, but I'm logged in as inspiration by God. And the reason I know that is because over here, when I come here to make a comment, you see my inspiration by God logo. And so I'm just going to come here and I'm just going to type the word amen, right? Amen. I'm going to hit enter. So now you can see that our link to our fan page, Inspiration by God, is there. My comment is here. Now what's the benefit of that? The benefit of that is, is look at this. This thing has been shared by 1,114 people and 24,963 people have liked this and 4,871 people have commented on this. Well if you understand how Facebook works, you understand that the fact that I made a comment on this 4,871 people now got a notification up here in the notification bar that says inspiration by God commented on a thing that you commented on. So as a matter of a strategy and as an engagement strategy, if I do this and I come here and I just I, I teach and I share with my team and our virtual assistants 10 minutes a day, come in here, go to these pages and make relevant comments to these posts and try to look for the posts that have the most shares, the most comments, the most likes, the most engagement. And see, look at this guy right here. He even made a link with a video on that post so they could get that. Now, I suggest you do this five, ten minutes a day on pages that have clients, customers, and different people that are basically engage in the same niche and vertical you are and I promise you it will increase your engagement to your website to your fan to your brand right so again that's an engagement strategy so with that being said let me go back to uh, the second one okay so this is Greg Ryder, and I want to go over how using FB Lead Finder can help build your brand and drive traffic to your website. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And here I'm sharing my screen. Now I'm logged in as my fan page, Inspiration by God, which you can see here up at the top. I'm actually at the Jesus Daily fan page, and by commenting, on these different links and these different posts, I'm going to get brand recognition and I'm going to get people going, oh, inspiration by God, what is that? They're going to come to our page and like our page. And then I can also post comments here that are relevant and I can offer free books and free things that would be relevant to this organ to this to this demographic. Um, I don't have a book or bookmark right now, but um, let me let me show you. Let me let me do another one. So let's go back over here. And I'm using here's the tool, FB Leaf Fighter. I typed in Jesus. And I'm gonna type in crowdfunding. Okay. 
and I'm going to hit go. Oops, I, did, I didn't spell it right. F-U-N-D-I-N-G. My keyboard's been sticking lately. Okay, so I'll close out that one. So there's crowdfunding. I have 100, uh, let's see, I click on that tab, 269 results. So now what I could do is I could go over here to crowdfunding planning, and I'm going to go back over here to my internet. I'm going to log on, first of all, as my Saving America One Crowd at a Time uh, fan page. And now I'm logged on as my Saving America One Crowd at a Time, and I'm going to offer my free book, right? So now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to click back on that page. And now it's taken me to that fan page. And I can go in here and I can get involved on these posts and comments. And I can offer my free book. So here's a little note proc to help you travel with ease. That's not really relevant. What's success like? OK, here we go. So I'm just going to go. Now I typically wouldn't just do this. Um, Right now, what I'm getting ready to do, I would typically come in here and make comments, get involved in the page, make relevant quotes and comments, offer suggestions, offer value, and before I, I did a solicitation for my book, and but I'm going to go ahead and do it because it's not that big of a deal right now. Plus, I really didn't find a post that has lots of uh, engagement and uh, thing. But it, the, you guys get the point, right? I just want you guys to understand the strategy. So I can just hit enter. So there you go. You have a link going back to there's my fan page and there's a link to my book and I get a free thing and I'm gonna build traffic to my fan page I'm gonna get traffic to my website I can do that and again that wasn't a very good one so look at so again look at the results here so I typed in crowdfunding and you wanna look at the likes you wanna look at the engagement and sometimes certain niches just don't have the engagement the likes to really make it worth your while to do this so I'm gonna go over another strategy with that but again going back to like Jesus if you have something to do in the faith-based marketplace and you get involved in the conversation with these pages that have 400,000, a million, 200,000, 2 million, 5 million engagement, you can literally really, really build your brand and drive traffic by doing this. Now, you got to do this. You got to make sure a couple things that I want you to consider. When you create your fan page, make sure your fan page has a nice name like inspiration by god that's a name that's going to attract faith-based christians it's just they go wow i want to click on that if you have a fan page that's not that pull it's not going to pull them in and help you build your brand and your traffic so everything kind of fits together and you want to kind of do that kind of stuff so that's very cool so there we go we got that one now let me let me do another one so hey everybody this is greg Ryder. And I want to show you how we use Facebook Lead Finder as a tool to find real estate investors and real estate investment clubs super fast, super cool. So hold on. Let me share my screen. So here I am. I'm logged into FE Lead Finder. It's a cloud-based software program. And all i got to do is type in here, real estate investor. Right, and I'm going to copy that because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here in a second. I'm going to hit go. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and put an S on the end, and I'm going to hit go. And then I'm going to go ahead and type the word real estate, all one word, investor, and hit go. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in, uh, well, there you go. That's good enough, right? So check this out. So I'll come back here to the first tab. And I got 500 fan pages that come up for the term real estate investor. Again, here's a link to the fan page. Here's a link to the category. Here's how many likes they have. Here's the engagement. And, and this is another key, key thing that we have over here. Can you private message that fan page owner? Well, that's what we want to talk about. We want to talk about the fan page owner. We want to get to the fan page owner for doing joint ventures. We're going to get to that in a second. So I can go, go over here and hit talking about. Now, do you think that if somebody has a fan page, Real Estate Investors Club powered by Unitech, do you think that these 16,000 likes, these people 
are interested in real estate investing, right? Now, here's the other thing I want you guys to point. I want to point out. What we teach, one of our strategies, we teach you want to communicate with the the uh, the fan page owner. So I'm going to go back to Facebook real quick, and I've got to log on as myself because Facebook will not let you private message any fan page owner unless you're logged on as your personal profile. So I just click yes, I want to private message that person, and boom, at one click takes me to that private message box. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Let me see here. I'm going to go to a folder that I had open. Uh, so I don't do anything with real estate investors, but what might be... Let me see here. Well, I don't really have anything that's relevant, so I'm not going to private message this guy, but I just want to let you guys know, and I'm going to go over this over and over again. But the idea is you private message that real estate investor, and you want to get them to partner with you. So you have something to do in the real estate investing world, and these people, uh, if you can get them to partner with you. Now, I've done this so many times. I want you to, I want you to point one thing out. Even though they only have 15,000 likes or 11,000 likes or even way down here, real estate investor, Grand Rapids real estate investors, look at this. I go way down here, R R Riverside investors, investors group, Spain, even though they only have a few likes, I have come across fan page owners. I've private messaged them and guess what? They had a list, an email list of 100,000 people. They had an email list of 200,000 people. So don't let the fact fool you that they only have a few likes on their fan page. That just means they're not that good at social media marketing, right? So if you're a social media marketer, they might need some help. And this is a great way for you to find customers. So I think that is super cool. So that's the private messaging strategy. So again, with our tool, and again, I type in misspellings. Like, see, here's six pages where they did real estate investor where they, they, they kept the real estate all one word. And then... Uh, let me do investors and see what happens. That one didn't come up, so I do investors. So you use different variations of the same keyword, and you'll really find here's another 500 of them, and you're going to get some different ones and new ones because it has an S on the end. So that's basically a very, very cool strategy on how you could use the tool FB Lead Finder to find real estate investors. Now, let your mind go with this. What else could you find? What else could you do, right? So... Now, let me show you another case study that we did and how we got guest bloggers, 77 guest bloggers to be exact, to uh, help us launch one of our websites. We drove thousands of visitors to our website and we did that. So, hold on a second. Let me make it so I can cut this off. Hey everybody, this is Greg Ryder and I want to show you a quick little case study demo of how we used FB Lead Finder to get guest bloggers for our new website that we launched. Very, very cool strategy. You can do this. So let me share my screen. And I'm sharing my screen here. So FB Lead Finder is a Facebook fan page search engine that instantly finds the best fan pages with the most likes and the most engagement in seconds. So we were launching a new website called GeniusMoms.com. GeniusMoms.com. So I wanted to get to moms. So I typed in moms. And I hit go. And then I typed in mothers. And I hit go. And then I typed in, um, let's say, women's empowerment. And I hit go. So now what our tool did, it just pulled up 1,500 of the Facebook's biggest fan pages with the most likes and the most engagement. And I got them all here organized on tabs, right? So what we did was is we wrote a little solicitation, uh, Genius Moms. Okay, so here's what the solicitation said. Oh, you guys aren't seeing this on the screen. I gotta get, uh, uh, hold on a sec, why are you not seeing that? I think I have to share a different screen. Hold on, let me share a different screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so there you go. Passionate Mothers Wanted. We're looking for mom bloggers who are genius moms to join our movement. Genius moms, passionate moms wanted. Please give us, a, give us a call on our phone number if interested. Thanks, Whitney Butler. And then we had another one, authors and bloggers. We're looking for a few more contributing authors to our new site, geniusmoms.com. 
If you'd like to write, please fill out our application at Past Genius Mom, Passionate Moms Wanted. Give us a call if interested, Whitney Butler. We took that that you're seeing right there, and we went and we used. Uh, well, let me see here. Let me share that screen. And we basically went and private messaged all these different mommy sites and these fan pages. Look at this. 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 1.8, 1.4, 1.5 million engagement. Mom's got ink. And we private messaged people for about 7 to 10 days with those messages I just read to you. And not only did it drive thousands of links to our brand new website that we just launched, but we ended up getting 77 women registered to be a guest blogger for us. And again, we can just do different variations of the word moms or what, whatever we're targeting. You want to get guest bloggers for your website and your blog or whatever you're doing? Google them, private message them, offer them stuff, and private message them to get that and get that done for you. So uh, very, very, very cool strategy. Um, we were getting content coming in on a weekly basis from all these guest bloggers and driving traffic. And that's another strategy by using guest bloggers they were also writing content. We would post on our blog. They were posting on their fan page. And when they got millions, hundreds of thousands of fans, they're driving traffic. So only we had guest bloggers, but they're driving traffic back to our website, geniusmoms.com. So a very, very cool strategy that anybody can do. Anybody can do. So let me go over another one. So got to pause. I'm gonna, this is where I'm going to cut these videos off and make separate videos. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Greg Ryder and I want to show you a strategy and a tool how you can use for network marketing to help build your downline and get brand recognition and get people coming to you. Okay, so this is FB Lead Finder for all network marketers. So this is a very, very cool strategy that I want to share with you. And we use this, you have to have our tool to use it really fast and effectively, but you can do it without our tool. But with the FB Lead Finder tool, it makes it fast and easy. So let me go ahead and show you a great strategy if you're in the network marketing business. Now, I'm involved as a founder of a company called BYOUXO.com. Hold on, let me go to the website just to show you. So it all comes really clear. On Man, this keyboard. Okay, so there's the website. It's called Be Your Own You. It's a women's empowerment uh, network marketing company with uh, very, very cool products, right? So here's what I know. I know that women that are in the empowerment space love this stuff. So I'm going to type in women's empowerment. Wow, my keyboard is just not working. Women's empowerment. And then I think I'll type in, um, um, I'm going to type in self-esteem because it's, the other thing is self-esteem is big. Wow. Time for a new keyboard. I got one of those wireless ones for my laptop. Okay, so this is enough results to kind of show you what's going on. So on women's empowerment, I have 215 pages and some, and some decent size here, and I have self-esteem. Okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to log in as my fan page for Be Your Own You. So I have a fan page, Be Your Own You, and now I'm logged in to Facebook as my fan page, Be Your Own You. This is the fan page that I use to promote the network marketing company, right? So now that I'm logged in here, what I want to do is I want to click on this Women's Empowerment link and go to that fan page. And now that I'm at that fan page, you can see they have 106,000 likes. And I'm going to get involved in the engagement here. And I'm going to just type a few comments, right? Love it. And now I'm getting some brand recognition for my brand. I'm going to end up getting some traffic to my fan page because people are going to see this. And the other thing I'm going to do is I want to find other people that have liked these pages or commented on these pages. Now, this page, like, look at this one. It has 131 likes. 26 comments. So here's a network marketing strategy. So now here's what I know. I know that if somebody came to this page and they like this page, they're all about women's empowerment. We know that, right? But if they're commenting on a post, we know they're even more fanatical about 
uh, women's empowerment. So here's the network marketing strategy to get them to contact you. What you do is you go and you get familiar with these pages and you start making relevant quotes and, and start doing codes. You want people to see you're commenting on this, right? So let me see what this one's about. So this is this says, our cost me. It's terrible how everyone is judged by their appearance. It started when I was a kid. I got picked up and teased because I wasn't. And okay, so she's talking about being teased and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm just going to type, that's why we founded be your own. Wow. This is not working. Wow. This is really hard to do and my keyboard's not working. Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can try a different keyboard. Oh, I lost my place. What happened? Where'd it go? Here it is. That's why we found it. Be your own you. Okay, so it's relevant. But anyway, so now I'm getting engaged. I'm getting the brand. These people that just comment that are seeing that, right? So if I'm doing that, I do that a couple times, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this lady who liked it and commented on it, right? And now this particular girl does not allow me to message her, so I can't do it there, so I'm going to hit back. I'm going to go find another person that commented on this. So uh, any one of these girls, right? So I'm going to go to right here, and she doesn't allow commenting. So this doesn't take long, but sometimes you got to find the right people. 12 shares, likes, 9 comments. Hmm. That's a guy. I don't really want to private message a guy. Let me see here. So Julie Tade. Oh, I, f I figured out why. Yeah, I can't private message anybody as a fan page. I just I forgot. So you comment and engage strategies as your fan page, but now let me log in as me. Let me go back to here. Let me go back to women's empowerment. Now I'm logged in as me. Now I can't private message people. So I want I really want to go back and I want to find comments. And I want to say, okay, uh, here's a girl. Then I can message her, right? And so what I would do is I would message her as a network marketer. I'd say, hi, Diva. My name is, and again, I have, uh, this is for women, right? Because women's group. My name is, and I saw that you had posted a comment on the women's empowerment page and put a link to that page, maybe even put a link to that comment, and I'd like to see if you might want to be my friend and ask them to friend you, right? So you so you find people that are like-minded, you find people that are in your niche, women's empowerment, and you get involved in the, the community and the conversation, then you go to these women and you ask them to friend you. Don't friend request them. Ask them to friend request you. Now, if you did this 30 times a day, this is what I've seen. I've seen about 10 people actually come back and friend request you. So that's 30 times. You can do that in probably a half hour. Now you get 10 friend requests a day. That's 300 requests a month. That's 3,600 a year of highly like-minded individuals that are in the same passionate niche that you're in, women's empowerment, and then as you start to develop a relationship with them, and that's what network marketing is all about, and then you introduce them to your BUXO or product or service, you're going to get people in your downline and it's going to be very, very beneficial for you and you're going to end up building a downline. Now I know people using this strategy are, are, are knocking in three to five thousand a month using this strategy in their network marketing business and build, building new people in. So the key is using FB Lead Finder tool to find people that are relevant to your niche, to your vertical, to what's going on and then taking that making posts and comments as your fan page is branded to that and then going and private messaging them as an individual asking them to friend you don't friend don't go in there and friend a million people it does not work ask them to friend you you'll get some people that do hey they'll friend you and then from there you can get to a relationship with them very very cool strategy so I hope you like that one so uh, getting ready to wrap some of this stuff up uh, I'm gonna go through the Teespring I know we have a lot of Teespring people out there so Teespring okay 
So hey, this is Greg Ryder, and I want to show you how I have successfully used our Facebook Lead Finder tool, FB Lead Finder tool, to sell a few T-shirts uh, via Teespring and have some checks coming into my bank account. So with that being said, let me go ahead and share my screen and show you the FB Lead Finder software and how we did use it for a successful Teespring campaign. Now we didn't get rich, we didn't make a lot of money, but I think I pulled in like 700 bucks in like a 10 day campaign or something like that. So uh, I can't remember because it's been a while since I did it, but let me go ahead and show you what we did and how it worked. So I'm sharing my screen right now and I'm logged into our software and you can see our software um, is cloud based and I'm going to type in a, a, a tool here uh, I'm going to type in the term keep keep Christ and Christmas. And the reason why is because I created a Teespring campaign that was keep Christ and Christmas. It was a t-shirt for keep Christ and Christmas. So you can see here I typed it in I got 35 pages. Now again the activity and the talking about is not going on now. I did this before Christmas when the engagement was much higher and basically what I did is I used FB Lead Finder to find these fan pages and I also typed in Jesus and I also typed in Christians because I figured well those are the same kind of people that would be interested in you know a Keep Christ in Christmas t-shirt because they're passionate about uh, that kind of stuff. So you can see the results are come up a little slow. Normally they come up pretty pretty quick, but uh, I think with all the bandwidth I'm sucking down here. So keep Christ at Christmas, Christians, uh, and I'll go Jesus again. So again, what FB Lead Finder does, it's a fan page search engine. So I typed in Keep Christ in Christmas, it pulled up 35 fan pages. These are hyperlinks to the fan page, and these I can private message the fan page owner, which we have done a lot of stuff with fan page owners, what I call joint venturing, and I'm going to go over that last. And then I look at Christians. Now with Christian, I found 500 fan pages, 3.7 million likes, 2.6 million likes, 2.5 million likes. This is the gold mine for engagement and activity in the faith-based marketplace and then of course here's Jesus with 25 million likes 18 million likes so again there's not another tool out there that we know of that can pull this information this fast give you one link to the, the to the fan page and then one link to private message so what we did with keep Christ and Christmas is I found these fan pages that were organized I went over to my Facebook and I, I logged in as my keep Christ and Christmas fan page Just let me log in real quick Let's see, where is it? I got a lot of fan pages going on. There it is, Christ and Christmas. Now here's my fan page. So I was logged in as my fan page. There's the image that we actually put on the shirt right there, Keep Christ and Christmas. And it was in memory of a friend that uh, passed away riding a bike out of a heart attack. And you can see we built up 4,500 likes using FB Lead Finder and doing this tool. We didn't, no advertising, no nothing, just doing our Teespring campaign and using this tool, we, we brought in a bunch of likes. So I would click on Keep Christ in Christmas, and this is somebody else's fan page, along the same exact niche, same exact thing, and I'd come in here, and I would just make comments, and again, there's my link to Christ in Christmas. There's my logo. There's what's going on. And I would get. We were get, We had my virtual assistants getting involved in these campaigns, making posts. It was driving traffic back to us. And then we actually posted um, our Teespring campaigns right in here on these other people's pages, as well as up here. Some fan pages allow you to post right on their page in their wall. Now, not too many people see that, so you're, you're better off posting on on posts that have high likes, high shares because they get notifications up here. And then uh, we actually sold sold uh, t-shirts doing that. So um, in the members area of PeerTap, I'll upload a case study, but let me just go here real quick. I think it's on YouTube. So if you go YouTube and we type in FB Lead Finder Teespring, I think it comes up. Yeah, right here. So I did have a video. It's on YouTube, Teespring, where I go over a video and it shows how much money I made. I show actually doing the post and that kind of stuff. So again, that's a guerrilla method, a guerrilla marketing method for selling T-shirts with Teespring and doing that kind of stuff. So that's awesome stuff. So let me end with 
some really big bag in the elephant type stuff, and then we're going to open up the Q and A. So we're almost done. So get your questions ants ready, and I'll open up the Q and A here pretty quick. I hope you guys are enjoying this and you're liking the content. If you are, go ahead and give me a big shout out. Say yeah in, in the chat box. Tell me you love the content. Um, now I'm going to do one thing with joint ventures. Okay, so I do want to do this. Do do. -do. Hold on just a second. I gotta I gotta get my little cue card. Okay, so this tool was originally oh hold on a second. Hey everybody, this is Greg Ryder, and I want to give you a little case study and a little training on how to use FB Lead Finder as a tool to find joint ventures in what I call bag the elephant. So this is going to be a short little training on joint ventures and how to use FB Lead Finder as a tool to do joint ventures and bag the elephant. So we were sitting around, and my son's a really smart, genius guy, and he came up with this idea. He's like, why should I build a fan page and try to get millions of fans when there's already p fan pages that have millions of fans? What if I could joint venture with those fan pages that have millions of fans and I could get them to drive traffic and make posts to my website? So that's how the tool FB Lead Finder was birthed, was created because there was nothing out there. We want a tool where we could search Facebook for the biggest, most highly engaged fan pages and then solicit the fan page owner to partner with us or joint venture with us to work with us and then drive massive traffic and do that kind of stuff. So what I want to do real quick is I want to try to find a, a screenshot. Um, let me look real quick. I think I know exactly where it is on my computer, but I do have a screenshot where we drove using this strategy um, over a hundred thousand visitors to our website in one day. Let's see here. Where did it go? Uh, Okay, here it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. So let me share my screen and I'll show you the screenshot real quick. And then I'll show you the actual software and exactly what we did. So this was in between, uh, right before Christmas. You can see this is a, a screenshot from our Google Analytics. And what happened was is we found a fan page owner and we worked out a deal with him. And actually, I didn't do this in, 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 in full transparency. This was done by a partner of ours. And they paid $1,000 to the fan page owner to do four posts in one day. Throughout one day, just one day, four posts. And the day they did that post, you can see we had 122,643 people hit our website. Now, the website typically averaged about 20,000. So going back over here where... This whole thing here, we got, we, we were, you know, even down here, we were down to 8,000, 10,000. We got the, we got the fan page up to where, or not the fan page, this is our website, this is our blog, up to about 20,000, and boom, four posts from one fan page owner, 100,000 extra visitors to your website. So let me ask you a question: Could you use, could you use an extra 100,000 visitors to your website? So let me show you how you do this and what the strategy is. So let me come back to the FB Lead Finder. I'm going to get it a lot. Load it up. Let me go and share my screen to this software. So this is FB Lead Finder, and as I said, it is a fan page search engine. And you can type in this fan page search engine any keyword, and it will pull up the biggest, best fan pages instantly. So let me type in um, um, what's that TV show? South Park. So because I'm doing this webinar and there's, there's a lot of bandwidth issues going on here, it's not quite as fast. Typically, this thing will pull your results in one to two seconds, but it does give a little bit of a delay when I'm doing these hangouts. So South Park, come on up, South Park. Let me close out some of these tabs while it's doing that. Sorry about this. I, I typically don't like to do this when I'm... Okay, let me hit refresh.
Well, there we go. South Park. Okay. So let's say you had a blog or you had something about that was South, that was about South Park and those those the, the TV show. Or I could I could put reality TV shows. And the reason I'm showing this example, there's a, there's a real good reason for this. But the one reason is is that a lot of times people that have created these South Park fan pages, they have no idea how to monetize them. They have no idea how to monetize them. Now you can see now look it says login required. It logged me out. So I have to connect to Facebook because I must have somehow I logged myself out. So let me go back over here. I gotta switch back to Greg Ryder. And then I'll log okay, now I'm logged back in. So anyway, um, the idea is, is you do your searches, you find the fan pages, and then you private message the fan page owner and you solicit them with what's their cheese, what's their cheese, and, 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 and could be making money, could be driving traffic, could be doing an interview with them. Yet whenever you're trying to market to somebody, you've you got to always figure out what's their cheese. And, and the reason, the, the term what's your cheese came from, um, the, the idea that you know, a rat will chew through you know, a brick wall to get to the other side to get that cheese. Well, you want to have something so compelling and so strong and such a great marketing thing that you can, you know, get those people to want to get back to you so fast that that's their cheese. So I type in South Park and let's say I have a blog that kind of caters to that audience, that market, and I want to use them to drive traffic to my website. Um, they don't know how to monetize their pages, right? They don't, they've never done that. So, and now here's another example, and this is where we got our traffic from. So we typed in Jesus and we were driving traffic to one of our faith-based sites during Christmas and I think it was uh, Jeeva's one of these sites down here that had about four million likes that did the post for us. Four million likes, half a million engagement, they drove a hundred thousand visitors in one day. And what we did is we private messaged them by clicking this yes, going to them and building a relationship with them, soliciting them to do a joint venture. Now you can do this, there's all kinds of ideas and thoughts you could do the to do joint ventures, but your goal is to find fan pages that have millions and millions of fans, hundreds of thousands of fans, cut a joint venture with them and talk to them about helping monetize their website. Now again, if you're doing Teespring, if you're doing affiliate marketing, if you're doing anything like that, it's just a great strategy that you could use in any niche for what you're doing to drive traffic back to your website back to your affiliate offer, back to whatever, and then share revenues with that fan page owner or pay them. We've paid people $80 to do a post, drive you know 4,000 visitors. You know, And again, as long as you know internet marketing, you know how to monetize what you're doing, you can make that pay for itself. So this is Greg Ryder saying, you need to get FB Lead Finder for your joint venture marketing. So hey, all right everybody. So. I think I've given you guys tons of great content, tons of great strategies. I know I was going a million miles an hour, but you will you will be able to watch us in the members area. So let's open it up for questions. Um, uh, thank you guys. I see everyone over here. Jerry says taking notes, great training. Paul says he's uh, getting some buffering issues. Bandwidth. Carl says great. Carl says great. Melvin says awesome. Uh, this stuff will all be up. So this is cool, good stuff. All right. Thanks for all those great comments. That's awesome. Okay. So. Let me go ahead, if you guys have a question, let's go ahead and type in the questions right now. Let's type in the questions right now and I'll start answering questions. And I do, and I'm also going to uh, post up, um, if you guys want to get this tool for absolutely free, you want to get this tool absolutely free, you got to join the PeerTap membership. And the PeerTap membership is our partnership with uh, Kobe Fox and Chris Dennert. And Chris Dennert uh, is is a is a million dollar plus Teespring guy, he a hundred thousand a month consistently, and he's been doing this on Teespring I think longer than anybody. I think he was one of the original ones that started marketing T-shirts through Teespring on Facebook, and he is an absolute guru when it comes to fan page and fan page and social media and marketing. He's got an incredible team, everybody from Facebook ads to um, uh, copywriting and they have a whole team and they manage well over 150 fan pages they I think in all kinds of different niches and because they do it right and they don't spam and they build relationships they can drive traffic just about anywhere anytime to anything they're doing 
when and they do it right, right? They're building real fan pages, getting real engagement, and building a real business with longevity. So if Teach Break went away tomorrow, they can still monetize what they're doing to make that happen. So if you're not a PeerTap member, uh, go check out PeerTap. We're really in pre-launch. We haven't even created a sales page yet, but yet we've had dozens and dozens of people sign up based on the reputation of Chris. And we are, are, are not only are we adding software to the members area, but we'll be adding content that's outside of the Facebook social media marketing area of our areas of expertise. Mine, angel investing. Mine, uh, raising capital. So we'll be adding content. My son is launching a new program called Monthly Membership Income, 90 days to uh, five-figure income with membership sites. We're going to upload that course into the members area. Now that course is already selling for $400. So Will will continue to each month add content to this membership site and provide a lot of value. So for a measly $97, you're going to get access to our private, secret, hidden, whatever, Facebook group where we're going to help you and you're going to get access to the FB Lead Finder tool absolutely for free. And as we come along with other tools, other WordPress plugins, other things we do, our Peer tap members will get access to that, and our partnership is such that we all bring something to the table. Our other partner, Colby Fox, is uh, an investor and has like 12 different companies, uh, everything from mm -hmm. nightclubs to restaurants to merchant accounts, and an awesome individual with incredible uh, knowledge and wisdom. And we all have our skill sets. We'll be bringing to the table and lending to the peer tap members. So, on the right hand side, you should see that. So let me go and look and see if there's any questions. Very cool. So Melvin says he got booted from Facebook for a week for private messaging people through Epi Lead Finder. What did I do wrong? Okay, Melvin, so that's a very, very good question. So he got a little slap on his wrist, time out for private messaging people. What we've seen is if you haven't done private messaging and all of a sudden you just come out of the blue and start private messaging, Facebook and their little automated tools think that you are a spammer. Right or a robot, so you have to ease into it. You have to do two or three or four private messages a day, and then do it consistently, and then get up to ten or fifteen messages a day. I have done thirty, forty private messages a day and never had any problems, but I typically do three to five private messages a day, just engaging with friends and and people. Right, so and I've always done that. So you got to build up to that, and then here's the other thing I do. I this is not. I don't want anyone to slave over the computer and do this all day long. This is like strategy number one: 15, 30 minutes a day. Pick your niche. Find your find your pre-write your pre your copy and paste private message. 15 minutes a day. Do your search. Yes, copy paste click. Yes, copy paste click click. Yes, copy paste click. Now I have my virtual assistant log on and do this for me. Now she does it in my account, so I have to do the replies. But I have her solicit the people, and I and I and, I, and by the way, I, I've done it for my book, right? So I go to crowdfunding sites and I offer them a free copy of my book. Because I forgot I was going to do a case study for marking the book, but I think I've gone long enough and given you guys plenty of content. Uh, and by the way, if you want to get a free copy of the book, as I promised, for sticking around, Saving America, one crowd at a time, all spelled out. dot com. And you opt in, you get an e, 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 e version of the book, and then I'm going to put up another page now that I actually have that the book printed. If you want to print a book, I'll ship one to you for just shipping and handling. That email will be coming out. So saving America one crowd at a time. So that's what you do. Do not go crazy and start private messaging people like crazy. And please do, be relevant. Use their first name. Add your phone number, and and uh, if you can provide value and do it on a limited basis, strategically and tactically to the right people. And you will start seeing results with affiliate marketing, joint venture marketing. It works. So I hope that answers your question, Melvin. Uh, Bob says, "What for it? What for it? Awesome. Not sure what that means." Rick Camp says he see he loves it. Great job, good job, Greg. Elaine says, "I have a." Get your books and ebooks into libraries. Sale on my course this next week. How would I let people know? Private message them, ask them, uh, ask them for if they want to buy it. But that's uh, maybe too salesy. What would you suggest? Well, here's what I would suggest with that. What I suggest is you offer free copies. 
right? So you do some posts, get involved, engage from your fan page. That, that you got to have a fan page that has that cool phrase and that cool word that uh, you can go get involved in the conversation on the relevant websites. Get involved in the conversation, make some posts, and then hopefully people will reply to your your replies because you made such good value and great good good advice there, and give them a free. A copy for shipping and handling, or something good, and then have an upsell. I'll give you an idea too. Um, I forgot to go over some case studies, but I have some case studies right here. And one of the case studies, a lady had some tea, and she did what you were talking about. And she typed in coffee and tea. She went to the fan pages that were related to coffee and tea. She got involved in the conversation for three to five days before she did any solicitation. So she was real active for three to five days. With you know on, on very active coffee and tea fan pages, then she then she said, hey, I want to offer you guys a free sample of my tea. You got to pay shipping and handling. Okay, she had 526 people request the free sample. She had then she had an upsell to a $99 upsell. So hey, put in your five dollars for shipping and handling, then upsell for $99. She had 46 percent conversion on the upsell and generated 242 sales. For twenty thousand and seventy-eight dollars in over a six-day campaign, where she worked this for six days, no Facebook advertising, just basically getting engaged, using fan pages, getting engaged, and then making that offer. So it's work, it's guerrilla marketing style, it's relationship building, and it's, it works just great, great stuff. So very cool. Uh, so that's what I would do. I would come up with that ethical bribe, get involved in the conversation, and then share with people with what you have, and get them to your website. Let your website. Let your website do the selling. Use videos. Use copy. Give good stuff away. Give your best stuff away. Um, that's like with me. Why am I doing this? I want to give away my best stuff because we want to build a relationship with people. We want to help people succeed, and we want to help provide more and more tools. We want you sharing our stuff with everybody else. We want you telling people about PeerTap. That's why we're doing this, right? So it's just a win-win-win for everybody. Uh, well, very cool. So Dieta says, I have gotten eight clients using the software, only using it a couple of times. There's a great testimony. Post that on our, our FE Lead Finder fan page. That would be great. Or, or, or send me an email or something. I like testimonies. Or make a, better yet, make me a video testimony and, and uh, we'll do something for you that will make you happy, right? So Stan, Stan says, super duper stuff. Uh, the, the recording will be in the members area. So the, let me do this for everybody. So for, for those of you who are not yet PeerTap members, let me show you the members area as well as I'm going to show off our membership platform that my son created. It's absolutely incredible. So let me go ahead and share my screen again. Hold, hold on. I'm going to share my screen one more time. And I'm going to show you what, what's going to happen to the PeerTap members. So here we go. So let me share my screen. And there we go. So this is the inside of the members area for PeerTap. And this is our membership platform that my son created over the last year. It's by far the best membership platform on the internet. I'm biased as my, my I'm the dad, right? But it is incredible. So right now you can see we have FB Lead Finder software and training. This is where you get access to your software. And we have a little course. We're uploading videos here. And we'll continue to add more courses and they'll show up in here. And then from here you can click here and you can get to our uh, Facebook private group and I'll show you that real quick. So here's the PeerTap private group and you can see only 53 members right now. This is growing. Oh hey look at Chris gave me a good shout out. Chris was going to make it today but he I talked to him earlier and he was throwing up. He was not sick. He was not well so we gave him a pass. So now check this out. So now I click on start the course right. So in here start here how to learn to use the software. I'm going to hit view lecture and this is how our member area works. And now there's a video. If I were to click that video and start to watch that video, it starts to play. And then over here on the right is a description. Over here is the download. So if you want to download the video, you can download the video. If you want to scrape the or you download the MP3 and put on your iPod and listen to that, you can do that. And that's our system does this automatically. So if you if you need a membership site to deliver your content, it does all this automatically. And then you can also take notes over here to the right. And then as I get through if I get through the video, we have course completion tracking. So I'll go back to the home page. And I haven't got through this course but because uh, I created the course. I don't need to go through it. Uh, <laughs> but these little boxes over here will show you 
the com the completion of the course. So it allows you to keep track of where you're at. So anyway, it's just a cool little members area. We'll be uploading more content, more software, more WordPress plugins, all kinds of great stuff. And it's just an incredible value that you're going to get for $97. And I'll show you what the uh, – let me log out real quick. I'll show you what the sales page looks like right now. So right here is what the site looks like. and It's at members.peertap.com. There's a little video from Chris that you can go watch. $97 a month. And you can see a little bit of a sales copy here. We're in pre-launch. We haven't really pre-launched it, but we're getting affiliates and joint ventures lined up, and we're going to really rock this thing soon. So I appreciate you guys showing up today. All right, cool. Carlos, I have installed Epi Lead Finder on my new hard drive, but it needs to the activation key. I bought it since last year. No, Carlos, you're talking about an old version of the software. Our new version doesn't need to be installed. It's uh, it's all web based, and if you went to uh, epileafinder.com probably on the bottom there's a support ticket you gotta go do a support ticket because all of our software now is web based and it's cloud based Jerry says I'm PMing, I'm, I'm private messaging target businesses for fan page management I'm getting no response I'm thinking my message may be too salesy it's a form letter <laughs> yep you can't do salesy you can't do form letter you gotta, you gotta do uh, you got to do cheese. What's their cheese? And then to keep in mind too, uh, sometimes you got to do multiple messages. Like I, and, and again, it's really weird. Was one, one time I was doing some stuff with investor groups, and and I got a, a reply back nine months later, and the guy had a list of 150 thousand. We ended up doing a joint venture. So who knows when people answer these messages? So, but you can't be salesy. You got to figure out what their cheese. What's their cheese? What's going to get them to reply? So if you're a social media marketer and you're trying to get social media business, maybe you could say to them something like, I'll give you a, a, a 2,000 free leads, or I'll give you a, a hundred thousand, a, a thousand free likes, or you'll do something as an ethical bribe to get them to call you back. Now let me give you an example of what's their cheese. It's really obvious, everybody could understand. If you're a restaurant owner and you do catering, your cheese is catering, right? Because catering is the highest profit margin in the restaurant business there is, right? So if you own a restaurant, that's where you make a lot of your profits is in catering. So if I went and I used Epi Lead Finder and I typed in restaurant San Diego, because you can also do demographic, you type in cities and find them demographically, and I could just private message them says, do you cater weddings? Question mark. That's their cheese. They will reply to that. And if and the same thing with the email, if you do it with the email, it will work as well. And then it's like. Well, can you handle a few a, a few more weddings next month? They'll reply to that, and you say, oh, "Oh, I would like to talk to somebody who handles that. Can you please give me their name and number?" And then you get them on the phone and do your sales job on the phone, right? <laughs> See, if, if 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 they think they can get three to five weddings next month, and that's their cheese, they're going to reply to you. That's their cheese. That's their bread and butter. They're going to get back to you. It's awesome. So that's cool stuff. So you got to think about what's their cheese and try stuff, different stuff. And then I use different tracking links to track. Like for my affiliate marketing, or for my replies back, or my websites, I use Bitly and different tracking links so I can see if if, if what I'm saying is working. And some demographics just don't work. Like some people aren't going to reply, right? And sometimes the pages with the most likes and and fans and that kind of stuff, they don't reply because they got too many of them. And the people with the least ones do. So depending on what you're doing, it may or may not work. You got to fine tune your strategy and that kind of stuff. Guerrilla marketing style. Yeah, and Kay is asking, you already have FB Lead Finders, PeerTap separate. Yes, PeerTap is separate. Uh, it, it, we partnered with and joint ventured with um, Chris Denner of Chasing Trends and Kobe Fox. So PeerTap is, is joint venture with us and them. So it is separately, and you're going to get separate training. And again, I don't profess to be a Facebook marketing guru. I just know some tools, know some things that work. I've done them and they work. Chris and his team are rock stars when it comes to uh, Facebook fan page and social media engagement the right way. The right way. He spent well over $300,000 on buying traffic, so he understands that as well. But they're more focused on doing it the right way, building relationships, providing value, providing content, and building a real consumer customer base. Just like I have my email database of 150,000, they have, I think, five or six million fans on their fan pages. 
And some people could say that, but they have no engagement. So what good is that, right? They have engagement, and they understand engagement, and they understand how to do this. So, and that's the other thing too. If, if if you need fan page management, and you just don't have the time to do it, and you want to pay the guy, right guys to do it, we recently, have, or Chris has recently launched a new division that does fan page management for a very select group of people, and we he will not work with you if he doesn't feel he can just knock the ball of the park for you, and he doesn't work with a. Uh, whiners and criers and that kind of stuff either. That's kind of our mantra too. It's like we, we do our stuff and we do it well and it's kind of like we, me with my investment banking. Uh, and, and I do and I do marketing consulting and funnel optimization. It's like hey if I tell you what to do and you don't do it, you're done, you're fired. So that's the kind of people we want to work with. So it's very limited in who we're doing. So PeerTap is separate. So if you want to check out PeerTap, you can just click that link and go check it out and give it a try. Um, yeah, and, 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 and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing your name right, but Dieta says, give him an irresistible offer. That's awesome. Hey, Bobby, uh, you said you got the post from, from Chris's uh, Facebook. I appreciate you showing up, Bobby. It's awesome. So I don't know that I'm missing any questions. Man, there's just so many people commenting coming in. I'm going backwards now. I think I got it. If I missed your question, please type it and push it in again. Because I don't want to, you know, I'm here to answer your questions. I'm going to give this probably another five or ten minutes, and uh, I want to answer your questions. So, I'm typing in another poll real quick. Just because I want to play with this technology. Let's see, what should I what should I ask? Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to ask you guys: Was this training great? Okay, or poor? I want to get some feedback. So start the poll. Was this training great, okay, and or poor? So you guys can go ahead and answer that. We still have a ton of people on here. So this is awesome. You guys stay in all the way to the end. So again, saving America one crowd at a time, and you get a free e-copy of my book, and then I'll email you if you want to pay the shipping. I'll send you a physical copy. And uh, this is my advanced reader's copy because I'm looking for quotes and that kind of stuff. Awesome book on how to raise capital for your business. Um, Seven Secrets to Raising Capital, Language of Money, Crowdfunding. You're thinking about doing a crowdfunding campaign. You're going to want this book. So go ahead. Answer that poll on the right. Was this training great, okay, or poor? And let me know. I'm going to close that poll out, and I'm going back to the chat see if there's any more questions. Did you pay guest bloggers, and if so, how much? That's a great question, Gary. Now, we did, we did get a lot of guest bloggers request to be paid, but we didn't pay anybody. Um, we negotiated with a few as far as hey you know we would maybe send an email out and we're, we we would promote all of the bloggers we just gave them a pitch hey we're gonna promote you we're driving traffic we already have a big list uh, we have a big thing going on we're gonna drive traffic and so we had people contribute that wanted to get paid and they and they said they didn't or they wouldn't until we could pay them so we did not but it is a great way to find uh, people great writers for that stuff too and if we would have paid them we would have had 150 we we would have had way more way more and probably the quality would have been a little bit better maybe I'm not sure about that but we didn't pay so cool so there's the link uh, if you got any last questions this is your last chance so I'm gonna go this is the last call for questions and I'm gonna go in this poll and see what people thought of the training so uh, how do I end the poll poll ended oh great all right, so I got a few people that didn't care for it, so I'm going to make it better next time. So, I, But I appreciate you hanging around and being honest with me. That's awesome. So it's cool. Okay, dokie. So I got any last questions. It's your last call for questions. I don't see any questions coming through. I'll type in the URL here, America one crowd at a time. Um, all of a sudden my keyboard's working. All right, everybody, I don't see any more questions coming through.
Gary says he's had problems with his comments on posts on fan pages being removed, and he says, is there uh, auto script that removes those things? I don't know of one that auto removes them. And if you provide value and relevant content, I don't know why anyone would be removing them because it helps their engagement. So I can only think I, I would think that they would remove them is if you're being a little too, too solicitation or they didn't like the solicitation and somebody's really active on that fan page. But that could happen for sure. All right, everybody. Well, this has been going a little over an hour, so I want to say thanks. I appreciate it. You guys check out PureTap.com. Um, go get your free book if you want one at Saving America One Crowd at a Time. Appreciate your time. Uh, appreciate what you're doing and do what I do. I'm going to wrap this up right now. Do what I do. Wake up every day with an attitude of gratitude and tell somebody love. This is Greg Ryder signing off. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody.